go. Now, first of all, you're going to want to load your sprites. You right click, press create sprite. In this case, we're going to call it SPR underscore clown. The SPR would, would be shortening a sprite. And when you're, so when you're programming, it's a lot easier to tell them apart as sprites from objects or sounds or stuff like that. So we use shortenings in front of everything. Load them. Clown. You do the same thing with SBR wall. wall. And this one you need to make sure that it's not transparent because that otherwise the black would be same color as the background and we don't want that. With the clown we do want it because then these like brownish areas around it there you'll you'd see through it. Okay, now let's create objects of those. Like I said, we're gonna have shortenings. So this be obj underscore clown. And we have SBR clown's picture. The other object. our wall. It's important this one's solid because that means that it can't be like um, hurt by anything. It can't can't be touched. Nothing can collide with it without like something happening. Can't be at the same place as something else. And with this one you don't need any programming. Let's be our cl clown. You have different events and that means happenings and in the actions so how the this object will react to the happening. So in the creation event, when it's created, we want it to move in a random direction. So we take the move fixed, and by, by putting all these in, it'll randomly choose one of those directions. And we'll start with a speed of, let's say, 4. We do not put in relative, because if it feels relative, it'll add to 4 every time you create it. Well, it really doesn't matter at this point, because the creation event only happened once, but with other things, it's good not to put down, put down relative if you don't need to. And... Um, in the collision event with the wall, we want to bounce. Game Maker has an, an effect for that, which is this one. It'll just go like that, and that, it'll automatically bounce. And we also want it for when you when you click on it, then we want to we want to get points, but we'll work on that later. And we want to move move in a different direction. So put down a different direction and we'll put down speed of two relative because it's going to add to every time we click on it then now we're going to create the room now for let's put on this would be how how, you, how the squares in the room big they are big they are if you're like dealing with very big ones then uh, you make this bigger if you're dealing with very sp small sprites or objects then you make them small obviously in this case they're all both 32 by 32 so make this also 32 by 32 make this bigger now we now have the wall selected if you go down here you can select either one of them we want the room lined with walls so that the clown cannot get out of the room There, done. And we want the clown somewhere. Okay. Now we should have a simple game. It'll keep going faster and faster each time you click on it. Done. And okay, now we're gonna add more effects. First of all, do the score with the clown. We're gonna add to the creation event. Make sure that it starts out. And starting, the score will be on. Let's see, where's the score? Here. The, and it starts out, the score will be zero. And then when you click on it, we want the score to add by 10. So we make it relative so that it'll add to what the original score. And I think that's about it for the score. Now I see when you play the game, when you click on it, you see that the score goes up each time you do it. 
I must have actually put actually put down twenty. Oh well. Wait. So next, we're gonna add sounds. To do that, we go to sound, create sound. Works a lot with sprites. We're gonna add a shortening to it so that you can find them easier. Click, because you want to make sound when we click on it. You load it in here. Want to make another one for when it bounces. S and D click. Oh wait, sorry. Bounce. Load sound bounce. All right, until it tells the clown that won't. When it hits the wall, it doesn't only bounce, but also play the sound bounce. And so this one, we select sound bounce. And when we click on it, we want to play the sound click. The sound click. Yeah. Well, that's about it. Now you got a simple game. And if you want to do other stuff like add backgrounds, you can just add backgrounds the same way you do anything else. It's also included with the packet from this tutorial. Uh, back. Um. Like background. And then to in insert the background, you have to go to the, to your room and choose the background. And you'd have to do like this would be background zero, back. Now I have background and. Pretty simple game, but now you know the the beginnings of tutorials, and you know a little programming. You know how to insert stuff, and that's pretty much it. I'm APC, and this is a Syntec video.